Now to the struggle to clear the streets of Cleveland. On the east side, the west side, the complaint is the same. It's been more than a full day since the snow stopped falling, but some people living on the city's thousands of secondary streets are waiting for a snow plow to come their way. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg beginning our team coverage of this cleanup live in Old Brooklyn tonight where the frustration is growing. Jordan. Yeah, it absolutely is. Old Brooklyn was one of the hardest hit neighborhoods in the city and the county overall. Some parts received up to 15 inches of snow and all of that falls on these secondary streets and city officials uh, said about 45 minutes ago that 71% of the city's 10,000 residential streets had been plowed, including this one, Maynard Avenue in Old Brooklyn, but a whole bunch haven't, and people are tired of waiting. If you make your way to Treadway Avenue, good luck. Because finding enough tread to get out of the way is easier said than done. Sloppy, slow going, cars got stuck last night. I'm not happy at all. The city failed this time. Tina Forsey and Ron Gillahan. I woke up and I thought I was in Fargo, North Dakota. Have seen dozens try and dozens fail to drive down their unplowed street. 15 inches of snow is a lot, no question. But the bigger question now is when. We need them down here. We need help. These poor people can't get out of their houses. What about the elderly? They can't even get out of their, their houses, yet alone do their driveway. Entering Tuesday, the city says it had roughly half of the 10,000 side streets plowed, leaving some roads like Bader Avenue plowed on one side, but not on the other. City officials say that it generally takes crews 24 to 48 hours to dig out of snow events of this size, and that all of the cars snowed in on the side of the road slow them down. Yeah, disappointed, but uh, I figured that city's just bogged down and, you know, they can't get to it all. So eventually they'll get it here. I'm a taxpayer. I own my own home. Can't even get out of my yard. What am I about to do? A frustrated Ward 12 Councilwoman Rebecca Moore tells News 5 that the New Look Council and Mayor Justin Bibbs administration need to take this storm as a learning opportunity and improve for the future. And for the time being, she and everyone else hopes that Tread can return to Treadway Avenue. This ain't acceptable. And the Division of Public Works hopes to have the remaining 29% of the city's 10,000 roads plowed at least one time by the end of tonight. Of course, we'll be following this story. Live in Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. All right, Jordan, thank you. Well, there is this. RTA is back in business one day after Greater Cleveland. RTA suspended all bus and rail service. We're told bus and rail service is now fully restored. There may be some minor delays because of the impact of yesterday's storm.